crazy thing is. It's true. All of it. It's all true. This man has no dick. G'day guys and welcome back to Raging Rhino. Alright, about 24 hours ago, Ryan Johnson of course puts his dick in his mouth again about Star Wars, uh, showing how much he really doesn't actually know and proving to everyone that basically he's a moron when it comes to Star Wars and he actually doesn't know anything about it. If we go onto Twitter, which we will in a second and have a look at what he did say, I can't actually believe that this guy got a movie. Let alone, I can't even call it a Star Wars movie because it's not a Star Wars movie, but let alone being announced to have a trilogy, which of course we're never going to see because he destroyed Star Wars and the fan base and everything about Star Wars. This is the guy that really did do it. I know there's a bit of blame there for JJ and also a bit of blame for KK, but it all comes down to Ryan Johnson in the end and the way that he's trolled the fans and all the crap that he's done and said to the fans, or everything. It just, he is not a Star Wars fan, and this is just more proof. So let's go and take a look at what this idiot said on Twitter. Okay, so this all started with a person asking a simple question about the title and whether or not he came up with it or whether or not he was handed the title. He goes on to explain that he came up with the title very early on in the writing process which we all know that this guy wrote one script and one script only, and that was it. And he went with it. Fucking idiot. Anyway, it comes a bit further, you go a bit further down here, and uh, Darth Boring asks us another simple question, and he says, Did you ever consider Anakin's go showing up to speak with Luke and or Rey? Simple question. His response, briefly for the tree burning scene, but Luke's relationship was with Vader, not really Anakin, which seemed like it would complicate things more than that moment allowed. Yoda felt like the more impactful teacher for that moment. Okay, let's just break this fucking tweet down for a second. The fact that Yoda shows up, it's here nor there for me. I mean, this movie in itself is fucking stupid, but... Whether or not it was Yoda or Anakin or Obi-Wan, who cares, right? The lesson that he learns is stupid. Everything that we get out of that scene is stupid. <clears throat> Going to the tree burning scene, the fact that Yoda, as a force ghost, uses the force to summon lightning is law-breaking and fucking stupid within itself. And I've talked about that in previous videos. But the biggest thing is this here. But Luke's relationship was with Vader, not really Anakin. What the fuck are you talking about? Luke's entire relationship, everything that this, this series was about was the relationship between Luke and Anakin, not Luke and Vader. Vader's like a, almost this alter ego that, that, you know, is, isn't supposed to be there. It's... <sighs> The way this guy thinks about Star Wars, talks about Star Wars, says stupid shit like this to the fans. I mean, did this person even respond to that? No. Probably sitting there going, my God, I got him. What a fucking idiot. Like, okay, let's just, let's just have a look at the end of Return of the Jedi, shall we? The conversation that they have before Vader takes him to the Emperor is him talking to Anakin. He's the only one in the universe that treats him like Anakin and not like Vader. I'm talking about Luke here. So in that moment, it's, it, it's only Anakin, well, Luke thinks that he's talking to Anakin. And that's when he says, well, my father, 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 where my father truly is gone. It's so stupid. Then you go to where once the fight's over, well, during the fight, and he talks about his sister, and 
man, it's, oh man, such an impactful fight. But after that, when he looks at him with his own eyes, that moment, that's Anakin. The relationship between father and son, Luke and Anakin. I mean, Ryan Johnson would have no idea how Anakin even became a force ghost. He would say that it was the fact that Luke cremated Vader that made Anakin a force ghost. I bet you that's how stupid he is. I mean, at the end of the um, Return of the Jedi... The... I mean, at the end of the Return of the Jedi novelization, we hit, find out that... Obi-Wan essentially helps Anakin become one with the Force. It's only a small amount of time. I haven't even read the book, and I know that story. I know that. That's what a true Star Wars fan is. Not this fucking bullshit. I mean... He constantly fucking puts his fucking dick in his own mouth. Well done, Ryan Johnson. Just proving to everyone, once again, that you have no idea how Star Wars works and has no place working in the Star Wars universe. And you fucked it for everyone. Thanks, mate. Anyway, I noticed that his, uh, Ryan Johnson was trending on Twitter. I want to know what you guys think. What did you think about this take? Do you agree with him? Do you disagree with him? Did you like The Last Jedi and, and you're now seeing... Maybe that it wasn't really that good because this guy clearly has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Any Star Wars fan can see that from this tweet. No Star Wars fan has ever said that Luke's relationship was stronger with Vader than it was with Anakin. No one has ever said that. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.